Hey guys, welcome to some K-beauty chit chat. We're gonna talk about some repurchases, newer items, some older items I'm still using. Uh, let me run through kind of who I buy from because a lot of these products are bought from different retailers. I'll try to try and keep it as concise as I can below. So if an item is available at two places, maybe, I don't know how we're gonna do this. Um, yes, Style obviously is where I shop from the most. They have the most brands, they have the most things in stock. They also have a whole like lifestyle and beauty, travel, home section, which is also really nice. So they're my favorite for the most part because of their communication and the awareness that you will have as a customer for shipping. So if, there's, if they say a product will ship in 24 hours, that's when it will ship. If it says this product won't be available for a couple days and that's when your whole order will ship, that's what will happen seven to 14 days, 21 days. It is very, very specific and it is very, very on point. So I love that. Uh, again, the prices on that website fluctuate as do all K-Beauty. Stylevana is another website I shop from. I have some items from there. My issue with Stylevana is while their prices can be cheaper sometimes, but the shipping and your level of when you're gonna get your product is very like up and down. Like I don't know when I'm gonna get it. I've had a product not ship for a month, like an, a whole purchase like not ship for an entire month. So that was like, kind of annoying now if you do like florisis or floresis that kind of like chinese brand that's kind of been like releasing those really beautiful makeup items stylevana does carry that so that's a plus but again i bought mine and i really didn't get it for quite some time so i do like the website there's just like if you are planning to get something like for a trip or you're trying to send a gift I wouldn't rely on that website. Lastly, in the past year or two, yeah, probably last couple years, I've been shopping groceries from Yami, and they also have a huge beauty section. Um, there are things that are fulfilled by Yami, but there's also a whole bunch of other retailers that do either a specific, like maybe Japanese food or Korean skincare, something very specific, and it ships from a third party that is being hosted or featured on Yami. So they also carry a lot of beauty things, which I really love. I tend to buy a lot more like lotions from them and like body care. There is some makeup on there, but it's like you need to reach a certain amount of your order in order to shop from that one retailer. So fortunately, unfortunately, when I do have beauty things that I want to include in my order, I will sort it and make sure the filter is on that it's fulfilled by Yami so I can include it with other food items that I'm also purchasing. It looks like I've talked for almost three minutes, but I just wanted to make sure you understand kind of like where I shot from and why I shot from certain places. Um, and Amazon, of course. If you're looking for one singular item, like you've seen it on a TikTok or a video or something, you just want one item, I would just recommend Amazon. It might be a little more expensive. It might even be cheaper, but you just want that one item. So just kind of it's safer for that, you know? Right, okay, so speaking of retailers, uh, TJ Maxx Marshalls has tons of K-Beauty now, like way, way more than I ever remember. I find makeup items, but more so I find body care and skin care and hair care. So the Mise en Scene Perfect Serum Treatment, this is a hair mask. I have purchased it from like TJ Maxx and Marshalls, $6.99, $5.99-ish, big, big bottles. Uh, I purchased some from Stylevana because I was trying to like reach like a certain threshold. I've sent one to my sister. I love it so much. It leaves your hair feeling really nice. It's a really good treatment and it smells amazing and the scent stays in your hair for at least two days. Because I like this so much, I wanted to try their serum, like their actual serum. So this is the Mise en Scene Perfect Serum, Morocco, Golden Morocco Argan Oil. I was just on Yami actually recently and apparently there's like three or four scents. There's like an olive honey, a rose, there's all different ones. Um, so, and it's quite inexpensive on there. I think it's like seven or eight bucks for a bottle of this. This was definitely a little more. I think I picked it up off of Style Bonnet. Maybe it was like 10 or 11, so. <sighs> but it's good. I, I've consistently used it. Um, I've only had it for like a little bit, so I've used it, which means that's good. When, you, when it's something you want to reach for, important. Most importantly, I should have started the video with this. This nail polish, look at these nails. There is no top coat on here. It is so gorgeous, don't look at this nail. That one is still being punished. Um, look at the beauty. I can't. This is by the brand Romand, and this is the shade, oh, number four. 
I have the second I put this on yesterday I immediately ordered three more shades a black a purple and a rose because I did put a kind of a Pacifica not a base coat but a coat that has like a bit of like a creamy color to it like a milky tone to it because these are meant to be buildable so you can wear one layer two layers three layers I have three coats on and it still might even be kind of sheer but look at the shine look at how smooth it looks like I have press-ons guys I don't know if it is coming across on camera but like in real life, it looks pre like press-ons. It looks that perfect. The finish is beautiful. I always do a top coat. And I, as, as each coat dried, I'm like, this does not need a top coat. I'm also like, what if the top coat is less shiny than the actual finish of this nail polish? It is beautiful. It's called the, I think it's like Mood Pebble or Pebble Mood is the name of the line. I mean, obviously I'll link it below. I love this. Now, this is a kind of a tiny bottle. Is it like somewhere between seven, eight, nine dollars? Yes, a little expensive, but for this finish, it is so worth it. I mean, we pay around ten dollars for a nail polish anyway, or we can. It's not like we haven't, right? We and me, you, everyone. So worth it. Also, I feel like I probably can do my nails like maybe ten to twelve times with this bottle, which is actually fine because I never finish a nail polish bottle before it kind of gets too thick to use, you know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of okay with this if I'm just gonna get full use. I could go on and on about this nail polish, but we're not going to, but it's so good. Um, that I bought from Yes Style. This is also from Yes Style. I haven't tried them yet. There is this resurgence of eyelashes, which I'm, which I'm obsessed with, and not to mention the Falscara and the Lashify, the under the lash lashes have just made false lashes like a whole other thing again. I did do a false lash like under the lash thing today. I used the Falscara Bond and Seal um, with my Ardell 172s, but I picked these up. These are a bit more like longer than what I would usually wear, but we will try them out. So a mascara I really love is by Isihan Heroin Make. It's the Long Uncurl Mascara and it's the waterproof version. It has a curved wand, which is my absolute favorite, and they have little extensions. It's a tubing mascara. A lot of times Korean type Tubing mascaras can be difficult to remove if you don't actually just use water. I use my normal makeup remover, the kind you shake up, um, and it always gets these off. I will say for people who wear contacts or who have sensitive eyes or ha can't deal with a lot of eye irritation, products like this aren't the best for you because sometimes you'll get just one little stray like fiber and if it's like caught up in your eye or caught up in your eyelashes and it's kind of digging into your eye, highly uncomfortable, I've experienced it. I don't wear contacts and I don't have like sensitive eyes so these usually don't have a huge effect on me but I know this can affect a lot of people so I wanted to mention that but I absolutely love this. This is a repurchase. I think I even got this off of like the Fever 21 website. Yes, style's a little pricey for this but Yami has it for like 10 bucks so I actually picked up two versions of it, a volumizing version and the lengthening version so I'm excited to get those. I think Misha used to do a mascara fix. I don't know if they still do, but these are all three of these are from Etude House. Guys, these are life changing. Uh, most importantly, I would say let's talk about these two first. We have the Doctor Mascara Fixer, and they look like this. So you have one, this one says volume up and curl. This one is a clear, okay, just a plain tube. And then this is the same exact formula, but it has a black tint to it. So if you already just have like decent lashes, if you curl them and you hold this, like roll this, roll this, apply the black one, it'll tint your lashes a little bit and they will stay up all day. This is a clear version that does the exact same thing. If you are someone like me where you exclusively need to use waterproof mascaras, if you apply this first, you will literally see it stay. You're like, wow, this is so pretty. Imagine if I had full long lashes, I wouldn't even wear a mascara, I just wear this, right? But after you apply this, you can wear any mascara. So if you're someone that likes to test out mascaras and you're just like, I can't test a whole bunch, kind of like me. I, if it's not waterproof, I'm not gonna try it out, I'm not gonna review it, you know? Now I can because so, 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 so good. So there's the clear one that uh, just kind of holds your lashes up. This is a clear one that adds length. 
because it actually has fibers in it, very distinct, large fibers. It kind of scared me when I first saw it. So this one is a curved wand. Okay, I really, I don't think I'm gonna get it. You just need to trust me when I say you can see so, 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 so many fibers. So you need to carefully brush this through your lashes. I even do it on my lower lashes to give myself longer lower lashes. So for me, this doesn't do anything for volume, but it does give me length. So if I do just kind of want like a normal, easy day, not do any false lashes, I apply this to like the whole, like all of my lashes. And then I apply mascara, it stays up all day, looks so good, like yeah, these could be my lashes. Like you could not tell. There's nothing under, there's nothing over, like these could be my lashes that you don't know. So, or it looks like you have like the most amazing mascara on ever. So I highly recommend all three of these. This again, because of the fibers, if you have sensitive eyes, wear contour, etc. maybe don't do this because you will have some stray ones. I find one or two near the end of the day, which, you know, if I looked in the mirror more, I probably would have been able to catch them, but not a big deal. I don't care that much. I got this, I think it's by the Corinco, and it's this travel brush. I've been very, after taking a trip recently, maybe I haven't traveled in a while, and I don't remember what it's like to travel with like your skincare and your makeup and this and that. I am like on a quest to find the most perfect mirror that is large enough and small enough, right? But also has good lighting and like the perfect travel makeup bag. I found, I think I kind of found those two. Maybe we'll include it in this vlog. It's just, it's been a journey because I, I, I really, I plan on traveling a lot more. We can talk more about that later. But, so this is something I found more so for my purse, not necessarily for travel. I, I couldn't gauge how big it was going to be and I actually feel like this is too big for my purse needs. I carry like a like a belt bag or I carry a crossbody. Bags are usually no more than like eight, nine inches like wide. I, I don't like large bags. So if you are if you are not like me, you'll be fine. This might fit in your makeup bag and you'll love it. So on one end you have a really nice kind of soft synthetic powder brush and it actually has the option to lift up the lid so that you don't kind of fuck up the brush hairs and on the other side you have some eye brushes i actually did like a lot of my makeup today with these you get a blending brush which i use to kind of apply all the colors on the outside and then i use this brush to do the lower lash line to blend out a couple colors there and then there's this brush which you could use to apply like a glitter or do it like lid color but i just used it to apply like my nars soft matte concealer to spot correct and like blend that in before putting my foundation on and these worked out so nicely like you're not going to want to do your makeup with these every day um but i got it as like a touch up because i tend to want to kind of blend out this area if i like swipe it weird or if i've like been in a fitting room and i you know you're taking clothes on and off and your eye makeup sometimes will be moved because you are not careful enough and sometimes when i have watery eyes i'll want to like kind of redo the lower lash line and these will absolutely do the trick Plus, I mean, I fully know that I can do my eye makeup with this if I needed to. So it is nice. I think Amazon might have ones that are just like this, but like non-branded. Like this is an actual brand that has, you know, come up with this one. But there's other ones. There's other colors. I will see what I can find and I will link them below. But I haven't tried those out, so I can't tell you if they work um, the way this one does. But this is like a really cute idea and like nice for touch-ups. I picked up this Skin Food Sugar Mix Shading and I got it in the shade Diet Cookies. Oh my God, what a cute name. Anyway, I've been using this a lot and I really like it. I know I say this often, but Korean like contour products are so good. I buy so many and I've none of them have failed me. This one is really nice. I use primarily the darker shade. I like that there's typically another shade in there so you can mix. So maybe your nose contour needs to be slightly lighter, but then your cheek contour, you want it to be a little more like intense, and that's what I have on today. So this 3CE Style Nanda uh, face contour palette, this is in the shade Tawny. Um, this is my first one. I'm almost, you know, we're getting through this one. I love it. And I mix it in with this one a lot, and this color is so perfect to clean up this area or to kind of highlight your brow bone. I just, I love this. I wish, not that it's huge, but I kind of wish it was even smaller so that I can keep it in my purse because 
this is something I would love to touch up with. So I picked up another one. I don't know if there's just like a good like sale or something, but I picked up a brand new one because I just, I'm gonna get through that one soon. So to round out the rest of the K-Beauty items on my face, I have the Secret Key BB Cover-Up number 23. I think there's only two shades. There's 21 and 23. So if you were my shade or even just slightly darker, you can probably do 23. And I, I wore this when I first got it, and then there's been such a huge influx of so many face tints, skin tints, foundations that have been released in 2022 uh, that this one has kind of like fallen off the wayside and I just like put it away with the rest of my BBs and CCs, but I have it on again today and I think it's so, so pretty. This we've talked about a lot and it's the Eclipse Blur Powder. This is in the shade 21. I have 21 and 23. Um, my 21 is has hit pan so I mean at some point we'll have to repurchase this I have the one for like oil like oily skin that I use in the summer I just love everything here and like the packaging is like a really good size small so you could throw it in your purse if you wanted not me not my purse but maybe your purse <laughs> For blush, we have the Halaka Halaka Jelly Dough. I feel like they used to sell this on Ulta's website. I don't know if they still do, but this one's in the shade Grapefruit Jelly. And I just have this on as blush today. I have maybe three, three shades total. Beautiful kind of putty-like blush that dries down like to like a, like a kind of a glowy finish actually. For eyeliner, we have the McQueen liner. I used the brown one today. They actually came out with, I think, a water... Is this the waterproof version? This might be the waterproof version. I have it in the brown today, so the wing is like a dark, like, brown. I can't find my black one. I don't know where it is, but really love this. Used it to draw on some lower lashes as well. And this has just been such a favorite. Ever since I've talked about this, even before I talked about it, I'm still loving this. These are by Tony Moly, and it's their 7 Days Perfect Tattoo Eyebrow. We have the shades four and three. Four is a little darker, uh, so it's a kind of like a cool toned grayish black. And then three is more of a medium brown. So there's three and there's four. So the way I use these is four being darker, I fill in where I have gaps. So it looks like I have darker hairs there and I'll go in with a lighter pen and do the rest of my brows and oof, itch. Uh, and the best part, if you watch a previous video where I talked about this and I had purchased one from, I think, Shiseido, that one's a little pricier. Just get these. These stain. So when you're removing your makeup at the end of the day, you might still have some eyebrow that you put on that will stay on, and it's awesome. Sometimes if you need your eyeliner to stay longer, I'll use, like, shade 4, and I'll do this for eyeliner and lashes, and it does not budge because it's it's tinting your skin so big fan of these will continue to repurchase i think they're under 10 bucks such a good price and then lastly these are the non k beauty items i have on it's the Lorac mini pro in frosted sequoia i have these two shades on it's so tiny i love this palette this is actually something i could probably potentially keep in my purse because you know so so little like so little um what can we compare it to here's my phone i have an iphone 12 pro like it's mini for the lips we have a nars soft matte lip balm and in intimate and then i finally picked up the nyx lip liners the new ones and i got the shade global citizen which is my favorite i've returned the other two or i will be returning the other two so that is my lip Global Citizen on top and the bottom is Intimate from NARS. And this is the newest thing. I got this in the Sephora sale. I have never used this before. I think it's so good. And it's the Charlotte Tilbury Peach Gasm, the Glowgasm in Peach Gasm. I considered getting the pink since I do like pink, but I feel like for my overall vibe, most I most commonly use more peachy, apricot, orangey leaning shades, i.e. the lip, etc. And it is so pretty guys i have it as my highlight down the nose so i don't necessarily look lifted in any areas today i just kind of look glowy and that is this i use this kind of as a blush topper slash highlight so pretty like so young juicy you know like i love it all right so that wraps up k-beauty things let's talk about travel mirrors because i've been testing like four or five out so let's talk about my favorite okay 
All right, guys, let's talk about mirrors. This is the mirror I typically travel with. It's the Ricky something, <laughs> and it is pretty big. The last time I took this was probably to Hawaii. The charge lasts, I wanna say, depending on how long you take to do your makeup, probably like three, four makeup sessions. It is bigger. It has a stand. It's not really connected. The stand is adjustable. So that's great. Okay, however, to pack this, it's definitely larger than your typical like iPad tablet. So I have this. I pack it in a laptop case. It's very squishy. And I pack the stand and this together and I'll bring the, you know, cord for charging. This is something I picked up recently from Amazon and I don't know why I bought this. It's actually quite dumb because it only has one light setting, which is dumb on my part. This one is something I also picked up of Amazon after reading a ton of reviews. This one is from Vanity Planet and this one I found at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, both $14.99. So if you want this one, look there because it's definitely 50 plus dollars on Amazon and I don't know why. So let's run through these. This is great, it has a ton of light or it has like a dimmer. So that's really great. You can connect your Bluetooth to it. I believe this is the one where there's kind of like a, it comes with a thing that you can like mount on here that's either magnetic or something and you can like film or take selfies, etc. Like it's really good for that. Okay, so with this one, it does uh, dim and increase the brightness, but there's only one lighting setting so if you hold it down, it does get brighter, which is nice. I do like this mirror. When I look at this mirror, I'm like, that's pretty clear. When I look at this mirror, the quality of this mirror, I don't think is as clear as say this one. I don't know why that is. As we move along, we have the Vanity Planet and this like no name one from Amazon. They are identical. They look identical. They behave identical. These have like a full on, like you can cover it up, right? With this one, it's just a stand on the back. I.e. like this. So you would need to purchase a case for this. And then the Ricky actually has its own case, but again, you have to purchase it separately and it makes the whole travel of this even bulkier, even though it's super protective. Okay, so I really want to compare these two for you because they're identical. They look the same. Um, this one again, $50 plus dollars on Amazon or $14.99 at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. This one I believe was around $18 or $19, but I got it during a lightning deal, so it was like $13 when I purchased it. So you can turn this one on and this one. This is so much brighter <laughs> and this is, it's decent, but not as bright. I also feel like, how to explain this, the quality of this mirror is better than the quality of the Vanity Planet one. You know when you look at different mirrors, you think certain things look sharper, clearer, crisper? I just think this mirror is so much more crisp. You can hold it down to dim it. Same with the Vanity Planet one. There are two lights, there's three light settings for both of these. So, whoops, there. So this is like the warmer, the warm setting for both. Um, let's increase the light for both of them to see how bright. So at the brightest, this is brighter. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It's really hard to do with this kind of thing on camera, but, um, and then here is the third light setting. I'm actually confused by what is the huge difference between the first setting and the third setting, but it's very similar. Um, one might be light, one might be cool, and one might be warm. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I honestly really like this Amazon one better. Now, my only issue is how long will either of these like connective stand area stay put? So like if over time, will it be hard for me to kind of like keep this up? Like this is as low as it will go. But like, let's say I want to aim this like more vertical, like how long will it stay there? Or does it like lose the ability to stay standing? You know what I mean? They're all USB chargeable, all of them. 
so that's also useful so i'm gonna return the vanity planet one i'm gonna return this one this one i've had for forever and i still have use for it um it is nice that it is so big but i'm really trying to find something that is smaller and i like this so, I mean, you can totally do your whole face. Sometimes they're so small that you can't see your face. Like, I don't want a compact mirror, you know? And while this one is large, the one setting and the not having a case and having to purchase a case or protect it, you know, with your life, um, no. So, that is kind of our current testing situation. I don't know if I'm gonna get more to test out, but I do really wanna kind of find like my perfect one. The fact that this one is on Amazon does really make it easy for me to repurchase if something happens and it's under 20 bucks, so pretty good. They have ones that are more iPad size that do have kind of a softer case, which I could look into, both Vanity Planet and like Amazon brands have it, so I will let you know. This is a really, really long clip on mirrors. Okay, this is a little haul from Yami. My sister sent me some things. I've tried everything. Well, not everything, but first of all, this Hello Kitty tin. At first, I was like, okay, super cute, obviously. But then the kind of cookies are like typically not my thing. I look, think they just kind of look like those like butter cookies. Oh, remember? Is it the Danish? Butter Danish? Those things in the blue containers? My dad loves them. I actually got him one for Christmas this year. But I was like, okay, they're really cute. If anything, the tin is adorable. I'll probably put it as a box on my coffee table. I mean, it doesn't really go necessarily because it's very red, but there's two layers. I've gone through a good part of the first layer. They're so good. They're not hard. They melt in your mouth immediately. This with coffee or hot cocoa or something would be so good. The ones that have cream in them, there's another one. This one, this white one, I think I finished all of those, but look how cute they have the little bows and then she's so cute. Okay, so that's one thing I got. This is garlic sesame uh, furikake, kake? I always say it wrong and then all my siblings that watch anime are like, nee, nee, wrong. anyway, fur furikake, right? <laughs> I don't know. This one is delicious. It's Chef Troy's recipe, garlic and sesame, and it has a little bit of spice in it and it is delicious. It's the, the garlic is strong, so it's a little bit like don't have it if you're going to be talking to people who have not had it, you know? This I've already eaten, but they are cheese flavored, covered macadamias. There was maybe like five or six bags, and each bag only had like four, but so delicious. I bet these were expensive. I mean, macadamia, and I think it's like individually wrapped. Okay, lastly is this jujube honey concentrate i think from what i've seen you can just add this to hot water and it creates a drink but which would be probably good for like cold season cough season or if you have a sore throat or you're feeling a little off but i mean we love jujube it's in a lot of our like soups or like herb concoctions because it adds a little bit of sweetness okay so that's kind of what it looks like on the inside i'm curious to try this or like how else i can have this besides just making a drink you know if anyone knows let me know okay so thank you for watching i will see you in the next video